All right, all right. Happy, happy, happy Sunday, everybody. Hope everyone's having an amazing day so far. Um, drop, drop some twos in the chat if you're ready for the market to open 5 p.m. Let's go. Let's see who's really ready to eat this week. All right, there we go. There we go. Light up the chat. There we go. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Energy, energy is on high, right? Um, all right, let's just dive right into it. Um, actually, before, I mean, I personally like to start off every call giving some thanks and, and um, just being grateful for what we have in front of us and, you know, what's to come, who we're here with. And uh, yeah, so let's just take a few seconds to give thanks for that and really appreciate what it is that we really have here, all right? All right, all right, all right. Let's get this show rolling, okay? Right, so welcome, welcome everybody. Again, thanks for showing up on time. Um, I just wanna talk about, I wanna get into a little bit of mindset for where we should be um, here going into this week, um, how we should be preparing ourselves, what we should be looking for, in terms of our personal development, our personal growth, and you know how we're gonna get there, right? So I want everybody, I hope everyone has their notes out. I want everybody to write at the top of your notes my goals for this week. Whether that's you catching 30 pips a day, 50 pips a day, whether it's you plugging into every single training that dropped in the group chat, whether it's, oh man, whether it's putting your face in front of the camera and talking to Instagram or whoever, whether it's hosting a prospect call, whatever your goal is for this week, whether it's hitting a rank, I want everybody to write down your top goal or two goals for this week at the top of your notes. Um, and then moving forward, I'm just writing mine down, sorry, give me one second. Right, okay, so after you've done that, I also want you to make a note to I want you guys to come up with a phrase, right? Long-term phrase, you can look at it as um, like three to six months from now. Uh, you can do it by the London Convention. You can do it by December, whatever your goal wants to be. But what's your long-term goal within this opportunity, right? Where do you see yourself in the next three to six months? How much effort is that gonna take for you to get to where you wanna be? And I want you guys to put a date, put a solid date, not just like December, 2019. No, like do like December 1st, 2019, whatever the case, right? If you wanna hit like P600, P1000, December 1st, 2019, right? I want you guys to write down this phrase and have it somewhere where you can see it and access it every single day, right? This is gonna be your daily affirmation, okay? You're gonna phrase it in a way where, um, actually, you're gonna phrase it in a way, where is it? Here we go. So this is the method of this desire, okay guys? You wanna state how much money or what your goal is. You wanna state the date that you wanna hit your goal. You want to, um, 
determine the plan for carrying out your goal. And then this is where the statement comes, right? Write out a clear, concise statement of the amount of money you intend to acquire. This is from Think and Grow Rich, okay? Write out a clear, concise statement of the amount of money you intend to acquire. Name the time limit for its acquisition. State what you intend to give in return for your money and describe clearly the plan through which you intend to accumulate it, right? So this is going to be your statement that you're going to read to yourself every single day, right? Read your written statement aloud twice daily, once just before retiring at night and once after rising in the morning. As you read, see and feel and believe yourself already in the possession of the money. Let me read that part again. As you read, see and feel and believe yourself already in position, sorry, in possession of the money or of your goal, right? So what that, what that really means is you're going to speak as if you already have all of that abundance in your life, right? So you guys see my Instagram, Chairwoman Reese. I'm speaking into existence because I'm already a chairwoman. Chairwoman's a mindset, right? You want to speak as if you already have the, like, you know, you know, the numbers, the GV in your back office. You want to speak as if, as if you already have those zeros in your bank account, right? I am so happy and grateful now that I, I am a chairwoman. There we go. I'm so happy and grateful now that I am abundant. I am so happy and grateful now that I am wealthy. I am so happy and grateful now that I am blessed. I am so happy and grateful now that I have a family that's all working with me to run to our dreams and our goals together, right? So I want you guys to really, when you write your statements, write it as if it's already happened. Because once it's already happened and you put it on paper and you speak it into your mind, once you believe it also, your mind has to prove itself, right? Your mind has to prove to you that it has to happen. It has to happen in the physical. And it's not going to stop until it happens, right? The only way that this doesn't fully pan out is if you don't believe in it. So you have to, whatever you're, you're writing, whatever you're doing, um, you have to believe in yourself, guys. And even, if, even if you're somebody on here and you don't want to run, you don't want to build, you don't want to uh, take part in the residual income side, that's cool. Even if you're just here to trade, you have to believe that you're a trader. Like you're, you're making profits. You have to believe that those profits are already in your account, right? For it to truly come. And then for that to happen, you also have to follow up with yourself and speak it, like speak it into existence. But there also, there's also a work ethic that's behind it, right? Sorry, family. Give me one, give me one second. My apologies my apologies um so yes yeah, so you want to you want to speak as if it's already happened it's happened in the physical you have it all because the universe has a funny way of bringing to you what you think and what you believe in that's how that's how that's the law of attraction that's really what i wanted to touch on today with you guys um and what the law of attraction is basically let me just Um, so I don't know if anyone's read the book, The Secret. Let me just grab it. Right here. This book, The Secret. So this book basically talks about the law of attraction um, being the key to literally like everything, right? Uh, there's, I think there's like 25 authors that are that contributed to this book and there's actually a movie about it as well i really want to watch a movie so i can um see it all at once i just dented the book to be honest i'm like at page like 13 or something but um yeah so but this book basically talks about the law of attraction and basically how it works is like attracts like right so everything that's coming into your life you are attracting into your life 
and it's attracted to you by virtue of the images you're holding in your mind right? It's attracted to you by virtue of the images you, you're holding in your mind. So that basically means like, what are you thinking of on a day-to-day -day basis? What do you talk about on a day-to-day -day basis? What goes through your head? How do you envision yourself living the next three, six, uh, nine months from now, right? And you want to also incorporate like this, we're here, we're in this opportunity, right? See how this opportunity could put you in that place where you want to be. So you want to start um, thinking about like just even materialistic things, right? How do you want to look? Um, what, what kind of car do you want to drive? What kind of house do you want to live? Do you want to, what kind of goals do you want to meet? Do you want to, uh, pay off debts? Are you trying to set your family free? Um, do you want to travel a lot? Whatever the case is, you have to think about it consistently for it to, to be, to be a thing to come into your actual life, right? Uh, it's what you're thinking, whatever is what are you thinking? Whatever is going on in your mind Wow, excuse me, sorry. It's what you're thinking. Whatever is going on in your mind, you are attracting to you. So whatever is going on in your mind here, you are attracting to you. Think of yourself as a magnet, right? Think of yourself as this big like force where anything that you think of or you perceive yourself to believe or whatever the case is, is gonna find its way to you in your life, right guys? Every thought of yours is a real thing. It's a force, okay? So I want you to think about like, have you ever, have you guys ever had one of those where you're thinking about like, oh, I want that car. And then boom, you see the car pop up or like, oh, I want that kind of house. And then like you, you drive by the house or something, like everything just happens to be right then and there in your, oh, I was just thinking about that. Oh, I was just talking about that. Yeah, because it's, 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 a, it's available in your, in your subconscious mind, right? You have it sitting in your subconscious mind, so it's going to find its way to you. You're going to pay more attention to the things that you want, right? Um, think about even, even with people, right? You ever talk to, have you guys ever had a conversation, especially like speaking to my older traders or older family members here, have you ever had a conversation with somebody um, after you've had that mindset shift and you can right away tell what kind of person or where their mindset is sitting at, not passing judgment, but you can just tell where their mindset is. Um, like just the way they speak, uh, the way they value different things. Um, and then you kind of just already can tell, like, this is not somebody that I want to be around. You ever had that one of those? And then you ever have a conversation with somebody where like right off the bat, you guys click right off the bat, the conversation is flowing. Um, you guys are talking like you've known each other for so long or whatever the case is, right? That's, that's literally because, you know, you're attracting that like-mindedness. So you're more keen to be having um, conversations with people that think the same way as you, right? You're going to want to draw yourself closer to those type of people. Remember your net worth sorry, your network is your net worth, right? Who you surround yourself with is essentially gonna um, show up in your bank account. As, as cliche as it sounds, it's very true, right? Whoever you surround yourself with is who's going to be your influencers. And if those people are not after um, higher goals, bettering themselves, higher success, whatever the case is, then you yourself are going to dive into that type of energy that they're giving off. It could be, it could be like nonsense, foolishness, um, things that are not of importance. And you're just soaking up all the information that they're talking about because you're in that environment. That's not, I mean, that's not beneficial to you. I mean, there's nothing wrong with hanging out with people. I'm not saying that. Right. But in terms of personal growth and personal development, you want to surround yourself with people that think like you, um, that have similar visions or the same visions as you, um, people who are where you want to be, especially if you, if you are, if you have four friends that are millionaires, right? You want to hang around them so that you could be the fifth, right? If you decide to, um, you know, say they're going out and they're having this meeting or whatever, and you decide to tag along because, oh, those are my friends. They're going to a meeting. I want to go to this meeting and see what they're doing because they have the success that I want. They're in a position that I want to be in. So let me feed off their energy. Let me feed off of um, the gems that they're talking to each other about and soaking in the information, right? I always say, guys, the world is your classroom. 
every day you walk into it, you take notes. I'm a student always. Every day you walk into this world, you take notes of your surroundings. Figure out where you want to be, uh, what you want to do, what you like versus what you don't like, and start to adjust your surroundings according to where you see your future self. Right? A lot of people live in present day, but understand that where we are now is not where we're going to be. It's not where we're going. So for that to come into effect, you have to start adjusting yourself now so that in the future you can go to where it is you want to be, right? Because if you decide to stay where you are now, live in the present, hang out with who you're hanging out with now, you're going to see the same results six months, nine months, two years, five years down the road, right? There's nothing wrong. My mom always says, you have to have friends from all walks of life which is absolutely okay. Just nothing wrong with that, right? I'm not saying forget your friends, forget your family, stay, like, stick with us only. Like, no, you don't have to do that, right? But if you're trying to go somewhere and you're focused, you definitely want to think about and consume as much as your, your, your thought process with things that have to do or things that benefit you in your growth. Right. So even if it's just um, how you talk to yourself. Right. You the law responds to your thoughts. Remember, it's, you're a magnet. Right. So the law responds to your thoughts. So how do you talk to yourself on a on a good day? Right. We're here trading it Sunday. Market's opening up in eight minutes. Like <laughs> we're bomb. Like, you know what I mean? We're about to get this money. OK, we're hype. Right. But what about the days when we're feeling like really crappy? What about the days where we don't want to get up? How are you talking to yourself? Are you telling yourself like, like, get up, you have to do this. You're better than this. This is, this is bigger than you. You need to put the work in. I don't care how bad you're feeling, get up and get the work and you'll thank me later. Or are you telling yourself, no, nah, it's okay. You don't got to do nothing today. You know, you're not worth it anyways. You can, t you can, you can just kick it. You know, you, you don't have anything important to do. Are you like, how, how do you talk to yourself? Right. You want to keep the positive self-talk always in your vocabulary and you also want to make sure that on the days that you're down that you're cons you have that consistency with the positive self-talk and the discipline to fight the negative right there's i mean we all have those days where we don't want to do anything i still fight with that right but there's times where i'm just like you know what as bad as i feel let me just get up let me go for like a 20 minute workout session. Let me watch one video. Let me call one extra person just because I don't feel good today. Let me take my mind off of my current mood and put it into something that's going to benefit me. Right? Pain is temporary, guys. Pain is it's very temporary, right? Um, and uh, yes, speaking on magnetic power and um, creating that environment in your mind, right? I don't know about you guys, but I literally think about every single day where I'm going to be in the next three to six months. I'm thinking about um, what I want to be financially, what I want to be with materialistic things, uh, what kind of impact do I want to have on people, um, who, what kind of network do I want to place myself in, who are going to be the people that I surround myself with, and literally last night, and I'm sure, and who dropped a drop a fire emoji in the chat if you've watched my IGTV video today. I'm trying to see some. Alexis watched it. Who else? <laughs> they caught it with the fire. All right. Who else? Who else? Who else watched my IGTV uh, video today? Okay. All right. Cool. 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 Love you guys. <laughs> um, if you haven't yet, definitely check it out. I'm applying pressure on all of you guys. It's time for us to step our games up, put our face in the camera. I've been in this for too long for this to be my first IGTV video. Hey, but I mean, never too late. But where I was going with that is um, reason why I decided to finally just put my face in the camera and put myself out there. Last night while I was working, Ebony and I were actually working together, and she can attest to this. She was actually um this the the server for this table but we had a group of people that came in last night and i started to overhear the conversation and i heard a guy talking about like this changed my life and um i'm in a better position now and i can pay for this this and this and then i heard something about mindset and then i heard trade house 
And I was like, okay, my ears perked up. Like I'm now, now I'm really listening. Right. Went on and on and on again. And I asked her, I said, Hey, like, this is your table. So I don't kind of want to just like jump in like that, but listen to the conversation and see if I'm just trying to make sure I'm hearing what I'm hearing. Right. She's like, yeah, I've heard um, the trade house name before too, whatever, whatever. So I said, I said to her, okay, when you get a minute, ask them if they're part of like the trade house with our company. And it turns out that they actually are. They're part of not at one trade house, but they're part of trade house LLC. The, 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 there's an, there's two trade houses within the company. So they're, they're the other trade house. But what, what was funny was I was just thinking like, it's just a group of people that came together. Maybe they're having a team meeting because like everyone was like listening into this one person, like really like how you guys are paying attention to me, but like in a restaurant setting. Right. And it actually so happened to be that one of the people or a couple of the people at the table were IML uh, leaders. And one of them was IML educator, um, Mike Miles. Mike Miles does the 12 a.m. Uh, trainings. I'm not sure which trainings he's done. I've never been on any of his trainings, but I know that he's, he does like 12 a.m. trainings and he's an IML educator sitting right in front of me. And I'm like, there's, there's no way this is a coincidence. There's absolutely no way this is a coincidence. I have never met anybody in the workplace, I'll say. I've never met anybody in my workplace that is part of um, our organization, our company, and now we have not just a group of people that are trading with our company, but we actually have one of the IML educators sitting right there. And I'm sitting there like, no, this, this is literally a sign from God. This is, this is literally, okay, so we have 10 more minutes left on the call. If it, if it times out, just click back the link. Um, but I'm sitting there like, this is, this is literally like my sign. Like there's no, there's no way that out of all places that they could have gone to that they decided to choose our restaurant, right? And I was like, okay, no, like I need to, I need to ask questions, whatever, whatever. And, you know, we had a little bit of a chat and after that conversation, it was, it wasn't even, it wasn't even that long, but after that conversation, guys, like my eyes <laughs> went like this, <laughs> like the vision is so much clearer. I'm seeing like, like I'm, I'm going C500. I don't know who else, drop a C500 if you're going C500, please. Cause after this conversation, this is the first IML educator that I've met personally. Um, and it was just so humbling just to know that I don't know, guys, like you really had like Ebony could attest to this. You really had to be there in the conversation to understand that the love was real. The vibe was real. The connection is real. Right. And it just so happened that one of his um, team members as well, another leader, him and I have had conversations in the past when I first started training, uh, trading and I knew he was part of trade house, but never really made the connection. I didn't realize that there was two trade houses until like after the fact. And I forgot that he was part of trade house and whatever the case was. And we've had conversations in the past. He actually is good friends with my cousin. And the guy was sitting right in front of me. And I'm like, wait, we've talked. Like, I know you, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, guys, it's, it was such a beautiful thing to see. And like, I get chills talking about it because I could literally see what's going to happen with us, our group and where we're gonna go. They started the group three years ago and they're approaching Chairman 100 as a collective right now. They're sitting at Chairman 50, right? And I was watching the videos of the event that they just did. Guys, they're sitting in a home with a bunch of chairs. Mike Morales is sitting on the floor talking to people. He's sitting on the floor talking, the guy is so humble. Like loving through it all and just being humble is, is definitely some keys that you wanna have going through this opportunity, especially when it comes to building. Um, as well as, as, as well as obviously diving into the education, right? Um, I was talking to the, the, the guy that I knew, his name was JC, JC Tran, if anyone's heard of him. Um, and he was like, you need to hit up your cousin. Your cousin's ready to trade. You need to close him. I was trying to bring him to the event so I can close him for you. Cause I see you running again and he's been asking questions. So you need to hit him up. And that's what I'm going to do after I'm done with you guys. But it's, it's literally, he's like, he's like, honestly, Markets are open, but it's like, it's like, honestly, he's like, honestly, I sat at P150 for, what do you say? I think he said it took him four years to hit P1000, four years. And I was like, whoa, <laughs> like, that's crazy. You know what I mean? He's like, yeah, trust me. It's not even about the signups anymore. It's about the impact. And I'm, he's like, you're P150, P6 loading. Like, I want to see you grow. I want to see you build. Bring whoever you want to bring to our events 
put them in the same environment. You have Mike Miles right here. They're here for a week. I'm trying to, I'm trying to actually go um, to a friend's house tomorrow. I have another friend that's in their organization um, that Mike Miles is staying with his or whatever. There's a whole connection there. So I'm actually trying to go and see if I can get to have another meeting with him tomorrow. Um, because like, when am I ever going to get this opportunity again in the near, in the near future? Like this is a whole IML educator guys. He's on, he's on the go live. He's on the trainings weekly. I haven't even been to an event. This is the closest thing that I've been to an IML event. And this is the type of energy that I'm getting. And these people were eating food. These people were literally eating food. So just imagine going into a room where you're actually there for the, the, learning, the lear learning part, the education, or just putting yourself in front of the information. Like, just imagine how high that energy is going to be. Like, I was screaming up and down the restaurant. I swear you can ask Ebony. I was like, ah! <laughs> like, I was not playing because this is, it's, it's real. Like, the, the lives that it's in, impacting. And I really don't want you guys to, to underestimate how how strong your thought process has to be and how strong the mind works how how things um appear into your life just through just through the thought your thought process right so i encourage you guys always stay with the positive self-talk um know what it is exactly that you want be specific right write your goal your long-term goal with us um, three, six months from now or London, whenever you want to set your date for, but put a specific date. Don't just put like January, 2020. No, put January 1st, 2020, put a specific date on it, right? Once you guys write it down and then you speak it out loud into existence, it has to form itself in the physical. I need you guys to understand that. Okay. And, um, that's, yeah, that's literally something that I, I, I read every day. I have mine up on my wall when I get up. I, I, you know, I give thanks every single day and I read my affirmation before I go to bed. I give thanks again for the date. I read my affirmation twice a day, family, twice a day. Right. Um, that's all I have for mindset right now. I just need everybody to really, really plug in this week. Let's make this a super profitable week. Let's get some, let's get some ranks hit. I need to see some more P150s. Where are my ladies at? I need to see some people, some new faces in the camera this week. Um, I need to see some people really just stepping out of their comfort zone, um, posting. I want to see you guys posting a lot, a lot more and being authentic with your posts is definitely, um, a key thing, but that's a whole different training. I'm not going to go into that. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, this call has four minutes left. I'm actually just going to end the call and then open it back up and then we'll get into the SK five training. All right. Does anyone have any questions on the whole law of attraction mindset, anything like that so far? Drop some threes in the chat for me if you were feeling what I was saying. <laughs> Talk to me, what's going on. Hey, unmute yourself if you need to. I really want us to come together as a collective. The stronger we link arms, the quicker and the faster we can move forward, right? But everybody has to put in their effort, right? I was talking to another friend. Um, he's also part of Trade House. And he made a video and basically said, people will say that this doesn't work because they're lacking something, right? So you have the knowledge. So some people will have the knowledge of the information, right? Let's say me, for example, I've been in this a, a year and a half. I know, I know the, the trainings, basics, whatever the case is, I can riddle things off, right? When it came to, and then you have the application of the knowledge, right? When it came to me applying the knowledge, that's where I lacked. I would know the knowledge and then not apply it to 100%. I would decide to do my own thing. It doesn't work like that, right? So you have the people that actually know the knowledge and don't apply it. And then you have people applying the knowledge that they don't have, right? So there's, it doesn't work. You have to have two to put together. And then the third thing to really drive that is the effort that you put in behind it as well, right? So how much effort are you putting into learning the information and actually bettering your understanding in the markets and um, as on the business perspective? And how much effort are you putting into actually applying the, the knowledge into the markets to get results so that you can continue to keep pushing forward, right? So with all three of those tied together, you are able to like, have massive success, right? So you have your knowledge, application of knowledge, and effort behind both of those, right, family? I just want all of us to really prosper and thrive. Let me end this call and get right back on, and we're going to hop into the SK5, all right? I love you guys.